under the sea. The penguins were sliding elves to the delight. The whole town was a buzz for the village tree light. Now everyone that day was feeling so jolly. It was a sad day, you see, from an old named Ollie. I wish I just this once could be there to see it. It seems so amazing to watch that big tree lit. But you see, but you love the ocean, replied Sweet Mary Bear. All the seashells and planktons, it's so awesome now. I guess so, said Ollie. That's certainly true, but sometimes the big blue makes me feel blue too. Well, what if, said Mary, in an encouraging smile. I came down there today and we swam for a while. Go exploring, Sir C. Ralphs. Or better yet, I know, we could hold a tree line of her very own. A plan had hatched, Mary gathered her crew and jumped to elves, then penguins. A few reindeer too. Ollie smiled in delight at the friends who had come. Let's get into it said Mary. This is going to be fun. Now to throw a great party, the first thing they need is a team of great Helpers to help them to see. Gather around it, Mary shouted. We need all your help to host our very own undersea lighting of kelp. The fish from interaction, spreading the word to our guests, will handle the invites, will handle the rest. Now the elves had experience with this sort of event. They'd need time for their tinkering, and so they went off. And so off they went. Decorations were next. They knew just who to see. Mr. Crab and Mrs. Lobster. Would you help pretty please? The oysters chimed in, we can help with the sign. Hang our pearls from the branches, they sparkle and shine. Every party needs music, tunes live just the right beat to get Everyone grooving and up on their feet. My uncle Gerardo is the best in the biz, and his good friend Carla is a guitar playing whiz. It's almost time for the party, so the last thing we need is the perfect kelp bundle for ceremonial treatment tree. This is it. This is it. Ollie flipped flop with glee. What a fabulous party this whole night would be. Starfish leap into place and the ornaments delayed. The jellyfish danced and the band members played. It was all so fantastic, the decor and sounds 
but the best part was when everyone gathered around. For the lightning. The moon was here at long last. The plane lit up, Ollie loud and gasped. It was almost like magic lights shimmered a glow. The whole town felt silent, just watching the snow. The most spectacular thing that they'd all ever seen. Lights went yellow, then purple, then bright emerald green. Mary started to get sleepy, but it was past it was past time for bed. But before all, all, they all left, Ollie turned and then said, "Thank you so much for bringing this whole town together for a night that I know will remember forever."